you to know thoroughbred dominance is not the only thing on the line during Preakness Week. Oh, no. Crustacean supremacy is also up for grabs as part of the Celebrity Blue Crab Derby. And former champion hoping to be a repeat, Pete Gilbert, <laughs> joins us again live. So, Pete, did you reclaim your title? We'll get to that point in just a moment. Um, I, you know, on Thursday, you always have the alibi breakfast as a great tradition, a big part of Preakness Week. Maybe not with the same cachet at Lexington Market around noon as the Crab Derby, but it is important as well. And this year, I tabbed a filly. Yes, I went with a female crab, and in the opening heat, it looked like a brilliant call. She raced across the line, isn't it, in the preliminary heats. I was feeling awfully confident that indeed I was going to get a second victory in three years ultimately, but she did not come back very well. For the finals, uh, maybe she just wasn't ready for it. Didn't push her a little too hard in the prelims, and ultimately have to give credit to China Allen to claiming victory. And ultimately, the victor was Charity, $500. She gets to donate to her favorite charity for that. But I hit the board, finishing third. And considering that three years in a row hitting the board, I'll take it. Live at Pimlico, Pete Gilbert, WBAL, TV 11 Sports.